Blessed is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless, beloved brother and sister. I pray that the scriptures that are going to be read today go forth into your heart and that the Lord may give increase, that his word may bear much fruit in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved brother and sister, uh, right there you have a picture of a chair and uh, what I'm going to tell you uh, concerning a chair similar to this one uh, is the truth. Here in New York City, uh, there's uh, a few shelters and uh, they're considered refuge for the homeless people. And that chair that you see there is pretty much the main resource that a homeless person would get in the city of New York and as I'm sure all across the nation and many other places. Now, here's what occurs. A person that does not have a home for multiple reasons. It could be that they put their trust in riches or for some reason they just lost what they had. Some people do have substance abuse. Uh, some people do have other kinds of problems, even mental problems. And some people have spiritual problems, meaning demonic in nature. However, um, as you see that chair there, there are places where the person does not even have a bed. All that they have is that chair that you see right there. And it is a room filled with chairs, with people who do not have a place to call home. So the person sits there, and that's it. Just to paint a picture for you, um, I have on occasions uh, slept in my car, and my car has a, a very comfortable and cushy chair that I lean back and even then it is uncomfortable for me to sleep in a sitting position in a comfortable chair in my car. Now imagine this chair with a person next to you, a person under you, a person at your feet and this is the only place of rest that the person has. All right. There's a common restroom for everyone to use, and it is exposed, and there is common showers as well. And the main place is this chair. And the homeless person that wants housing would have to come and sit in this chair for months in and months out just sitting there waiting for a turn for an opportunity to open up for the person to actually get a room somewhere in the city but they would have to sit in this chair for months we're talking about over six months just sitting there waiting for a turn to their caseworker whoever is assigned to them gets to this person now, beloved brother or sister, right? I ask you, if myself, if I had to sit in that chair, or one of you sat in that chair, what would be your thoughts concerning God? What would be your thoughts if you did not have a comfortable bed to rest your head if you had no privacy no other room to go to and all you had was this chair a room full of chairs full of other people in the same situation that do not have a place to call home 
that don't have a house, that don't have an apartment, what will your thoughts be concerning the Most High God? Will you still love Him? Remember in the book of Job, everything that Job went through, and he still loved the Lord. He did not blaspheme the name of the Lord. I want to go through some scriptures. Blessed is the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 14. But by inequality, that is, at this time your abundance may be a supply for their want, and that their abundance also may be a supply for your want, that there may be equality. Verse 15, as it is written, he that had gathered much had nothing over, and he that had gathered little had no lack. Thanks be to God. Blessed is his holy name. The book of James, chapter 2, verses beginning at verse 14. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? Verse 15 and 16. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, and be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What does it profit? Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. So, what good is it if we see someone that is hungry and we say to the person, be filled, have a nice day, and God bless? What good is that? Verse 17 says, even so faith, if it hath not works, it is dead. It is very different if we see someone that is hungry and we say, Let's go get you some food that you may be filled and be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Here we have the faith. We have the works. Book of Matthew chapter 25 and verse 35. The Lord Jesus Christ is speaking. And he says, for I was an hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Beloved, I see this chair, and it reminds me that there's people sitting. Very possible all across the nation without somewhere as much as to lay their head to be comfortable. And yet, fellow believer, fellow brother and sister, I ask you, do we really have anything to complain about? Are we better than anyone? God is not a respecter of persons. We are not better than anyone. And we have nothing to complain about. Someone is sitting in a chair without a bed. Without as much as being able to lie down comfortably. Without all these comforts 
and blessings that we take for granted. We have nothing to complain about. Let us be grateful. For it is great gain to be content with what we have and being grateful. And when we have an opportunity, I encourage you, beloved brother and sister, to visit a shelter for the homeless. And with the whole situation, they might allow you to go in, they may not, but you can always meet people in the outside you can always talk to people and if someone is hungry we can definitely give someone bread and do it in the name of Jesus Christ I truly hope this has blessed you and that we may repent for ever complaining ever the book of Jude reminds us what happens to Israel when they complained in the desert. Let us be grateful and all the things that we have, even ourselves, we don't belong to us. We belong to the Lord. He bought us for a price, his precious blood. So this goes for me. Let us not be high-minded or think that we're better than anybody else. And this beloved brother and sister, this goes for me. May we love the Lord with everything that is in us and show compassion to our fellow human brother and sister going through a tough time that we may show them the glory of Christ and the love of Christ what he is like and warn them that they may have a home an eternal home in heaven speak about the Lord about repentance, about the abomination that the seed spoken through you may draw them closer to Christ. They may be homeless in this earth, but they may have a per permanent residence with the Most High. And this is what matters. May we be fishers of men and have nothing to complain about. Shalom.